people today we're doing a simple stamped set easy peasy it's gonna be a real short video today uh, this is not the set I set out to make um, well we'll get into that as we go but I was I wanted to use some colors that I have that I've never used before so I settled on coral we're gonna go in with this base uh, and this like light coral Um, the set I set out to make was going to have the accent nails have a woven design on them. Uh, they did not come out as I had hoped they would, but I think I know where I went wrong. So I will revisit those at a later date. Not sure when yet, but yeah, so that, that will be happening at some point down the line. Uh, maybe in the fall I'll t tackle those because the color scheme for that is more of a dark kind of just more of a dark color but anyway we're gonna carry on with these so I had to pivot in the middle of these and switch up the design for my accent nails okay we're on to the second coat You know, and maybe, well, the next two nail sets I have planned out, but after that, I'm going to try to start using some of these polished colors that I have that I have never used, other than just watch them. And I just have all these things sitting around that just, I feel like i got to start using stuff, and I tend to gravitate towards the same group of colors, as you may have noticed already. <laughs> so, we're going to mix it up now once I get these cured we're going to go on to the stamping I'm not going into grave detail on uh, all the stamping stuff because you've seen me do it and if you really want to learn how to do it more more uh, thoroughly I guess or more carefully go to uh, there's plenty of other videos that just focus on the stamping this polish this is a stamping polish I have not used before either um, I found it to be extremely thin and kind of watery it wasn't real thick and pigmented like most stamping polishes tend to be so it worked fine though once I got it you know once I got going with it but I did put more on my stamping plate than I normally do just because it was so thin and it I wanted it to spread out better I'm trying to get this where the twisty part in the middle is across the center of the nail and there we go easy peasy okay we're gonna move on I'm just gonna show you one more of these I think and then we're gonna go on to the rest of it clean it up and we're gonna use it again soon as I get myself organized here a little bit see I'm putting this all the way down the whole stamp design which I normally don't do because it generally just wastes your stamping polish I usually just put it at the top and scrape it down but as I said this was so thin I wanted to make sure I got it on there really well okay bam there we go now some of these I did wipe off and redo because I wasn't happy but for the most part they came out pretty well now, now I'm switching to a gold stamping polish and on the accent nails where we were gonna have the woven nails we're now gonna have over stamp with gold and what we're gonna do is when we stamp it we're gonna offset it from the original part where I just stamped the coral on there so it's gonna have a double stamp but it, it's not gonna be right on top of the exact design we want to like move it slightly up or slightly down so that it gets a double stamp looking effect which is a little tricky for this design now this one got a little too close to being right on the money on on you can see on the left side but on the right side we get the double stamp okay and that's what I did for the accent nails that was my quick thinking plan B and that's what they look like and we're pretty much we're gonna do that on the other three accent nails, which are the two ring fingers and the two thumbs. 
you can see the other thumb I already did and that's it we're moving on to the top coat and then we'll be done we're in the home stretch already I'm using my normal tempered top coat that I use on these Now next week I'm going to be doing a leaf design, like a zoomed in leaf design with ladybugs and dewdrops. So you might want to stay tuned for that. Hopefully that one will go better for me and my leaves will look like leaves and not come out looking like crap like my woven stuff did. Okay, we're going to cure that and then we're done. I will show you the woven ones that I did when I revisit this woven set because hopefully they're going to come out better the next time and then you'll see how crappy the ones looked I did this time and you'll see why I didn't use them. But anyway, here we are with the finished set. If you like them, please give me a like. I really appreciate it a lot and it does help me out. And if you want to see more, I upload a new video tutorial every Saturday. So you can stay tuned for that. And as I said, next week it's going to be leaves and ladybugs. So that's all I have for you this time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.